Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today's video is going to be a quick one about showing my AmShack cables and wires that are behind that desk. Many people ask me that question. First, I posted three weeks ago a, a video about my new shack arrangement and then I was asked uh, about my uh, antenna system. Okay, so I did a video last week and both videos like you know they exploded they were very popular so there's a lot of interest and i received a question about the wiring in the shack okay believe me it's not as beautiful as you see in the front okay there's a lot of tie wrap in uh, back there and i did scratch myself a few times working uh, up there i try not to move but I, I will explain how i did the setup there is no perfect setup okay when it comes to wires uh you know we're doing wireless but there's a lot of wires involved <laughs> Okay, and I try to reduce and simplify every time I redo the cabling. I always try to remove power packs, everything that's 12 volts, bring it to power supply, you know, things like that to make sure that I keep as low as possible uh, the uh, interference, you know, possible from power pack or whatever, but keep the wires uh, the less as possible behind there. Okay, but the, you know, it's still very crowded uh, with all the wires. And also, I receive, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot of very, very positive comments about my AmShack. And thank you very much. About 98% are very positive uh, like this. So that is great. But also receive some question, why do uh, I have that much radio and, and things like that, you know. And, and, and something I want to explain that is very important to me, okay. If you look, every time we watch a movies, okay and there's something about am radio okay that was some uh, uh, recently that i saw and and the equipment they're all always from decades ago when i mean decades that means sometimes it's the 70s even the 60s and it's still a modern film okay and it's just showing to the world that am radio is like a obsolete but that's not the case look behind here okay the, the radios are not turned on because i'm going to move the desk and i want to make sure you know i always close down the, the radio before i do so just in case okay there's a app and something with the wires it's all uh, built for that but uh, i'll explain later on but it's all new gears okay it's all new things that you can buy and this what is a ham radio uh, setup looks like these days okay so we don't see much as that and Doing this, the, the video about my shack brought a lot of attention and some people, probably newcomers or geeks from other field or younger, uh, younger guys, asked me what's a ham shack. So this is a sign that it's, it, it get the attention from people around, uh, outside the, the, the ring of ham radio. Okay, so ham radio is a diminutive for amateur radio. This is uh, to operate a radio you need an ham radio license or an amateur radio license and and a ham shack is a am, amateur radio station that's it okay so that's what we call a ham shack it's a place where is our radio room okay so and and, and this having that kind of question for me it's uh it's it's so fun i enjoy it very much because that's the the sole purpose of this channel is to promote AM radio, to show people, make people dream. Okay, that, that's what I do, I still do. And uh, I've been accumulating equipment for the past 30 years, trading, buying new ones, and investing a little bit of money every year. And I end up to this. So this is a long process. I made my career with technology and AM radio is the foundation of that. It's actually, I, I study in business and I went back to school in electronics because my wife convinced me to pursue my dream, okay? And today I'm in management, but I manage a team of technical technician, okay? So this is something that brought a lot to me in my life, okay? And I think people should always follow their passion and I'm still passionate. The only reason I'm doing this video is I want to share with you guys my passion. Uh, actually spent a lot more than what I this brings to me okay as a revenue so <laughs> if you if you should see all the equipment video and what I did order last week to do uh, to improve uh, all the time my video is just technical challenge as well for me so it's another hobby that I combined together anyway finish on that 
let's go behind the desk showing you what's the process to get behind there first before i can go behind the desk okay what i need to do is get this thing out because the shack is too small so i need some room otherwise i'll be stuck okay so there it is so i'm gonna take my light here okay my light i'm gonna take my camera and i'm gonna try hold on a second to show you the next step so what i need to do is to remove everything that can be whoops that was my light that just came off so you see how tough sometimes it is to film so i won't do a retake okay so i'm taking hope it's still good to see your side okay there you go hold on a second i'm gonna bring more light okay so you can see under the desk that i did put some reinforcement to make sure that it is very solid okay there's a lot of weight on that desk and a lot of equipment okay and uh, so i won't don't want anything to fall it's pretty sturdy and you'll see in the back there is a lot more uh, reinforcement as well so okay so another thing we need to do is actually remove the headphone air because i won't be able to get behind okay i'm too fat <laughs> so let's remove that okay like this so now i'm gonna have to pull the desk okay and to pull the desk i need to hold it solid like this lift it a little and start to pull okay there's no wheels under the desk okay some people thought there were some wheels that's not the case and i need to go slowly okay even though all the warriors are very secure behind there i always shut down the equipment just in case okay so just to make sure that everything is safe so now sometime i need to do a few more and the wires are long enough so I can do this, okay, even though they are all, all tied together. So now, if we come here, hey boy, okay, it's still tight, okay, so you see what it looks like, okay. It's not as beautiful as in the front, okay, <laughs> no choice. And this, uh, those shelves are uh, coffee tables that are modified, okay, to use that as a shelf. And the pole, there's two pole, round pole like this in the back. And I use it to tie wrap the cable that are going down, okay? So that's how I hide the wires from the visual when you're sitting in the front, okay? So you see here my power bar, my DC power bar connected to the MFJ switching power supply you see in the front. There is the rig pie, okay? There's also an eight port ethernet switch behind there so I can feed with internet any of my equipment. You have my HTs charging there all the wires coming to that pole okay and you can see that everything is grounded okay this is the power supply for my remote uh, rotator and here you have the all the rigs are grounded using rg213 shield okay for that and if you come down here and you have the other radio okay you can see some reinforcement here okay so the shelf won't do around okay because that's quite heavy and if you look here okay you can see some uh, there is a, a a plate in the middle okay that is the small shelf on top where i have my uh ameritron switch and things like that okay and all the wires going through those holes that i drill into it okay you can see that in another video and you can see here another reinforcement okay that's how it looks back here and there you have all the grounds okay all the grounds are going to this ground plate here this is a copper plate in the back i don't know if you can see correctly okay i will try flip the screen there anyway so yeah so anyway there's a there is some screws many screws and this plate okay is oh i can see it better this plate is grounded with a number six the green wire you can see here is going outside and there is a pole 
you know the thing they, they make to ground a well it's eight feet uh, uh, deep that is grounded on it that's another ground okay because there my towers is ground differently as well so but it's all ground together okay and there you have the bottom you have all the wires hanging out it used to be in the blue thing there but it's tougher to when you move and add some equipment like i do all the time so i decided to let it hang like this okay and uh, since i don't see it from the front okay so i just hang it like this and it's better okay so there's a large power bar okay you can see here this power bar is the white wires going to that outlet ac outlet and the bottom there's another power wire the black wire is going here okay so this is some other equipment and all this is for radios okay so this uh, ac outlet is dedicated to the shack it's a 15 amps okay and this is dedicated to the radio there is some other outlets in the shacks but they're not connected on the same breaker okay so that's it and there here there's a 220 volt with the flat pin okay so uh, this is my amp connection it's uh, for 220 and it's a 15 amps this is connect uh, my polestar uh, one kilowatt amplifier okay so i'm running it at 220 if you want to pull full power you need to do that behind here you have my dummy load okay that it can be switched the dummy load is switched via the um via the uh antenna tuner mfg antenna tuner okay so you can see all the antenna and everything is going out there to that O, to the mechanical room. I can't show you because it's not possible to film back there. There's only a few inches and I need a rod to be able to pass the wire. Okay, it's hidden behind the furnace and it's going to conduit outside. So, uh, and uh, it's not very pretty to see as well because it's tough for me to go there. So I just pass the wire and that's it. So this cover pretty much uh, the behind the, the desk thing. So that's it. I hope you like it. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to go below. I am having some problem to keep up because there's a lot of, of, of comments and questions. So I try to do my best, but uh, if there's any question, you can go there. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe. See you next time. 73.